Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're taking this bad boy and this is the this is the 94 Winchester and 3855. We're gonna take this bad boy out and see if we can get a deer with it. So y'all stay tuned and I'll take you on the adventure. Look at the thorns on this bush. All right, we're heading into our adventure hunting with the 1894 Winchester in caliber 3855. So we're heading out to look for a deer. Hopefully we'll get the first deer of the year with the 3855. This is what the forest looks like in my area. This moss is everywhere. It's mostly a sign of poor soil quality. It's very soft because it's just rained. When it hasn't rained in a while, it's kind of crunchy. The deer use these trails a lot. Here's one of the deer tracks. It come running up the hill. We're looking through here to see if we see any signs of bucks moving through. It's not the rut yet here in Alabama. It won't be the rut until February or late January. The season only goes until February 10. There's usually some scrapes out in this area, which is what I'm looking for. Trying to see if I see a deer in any direction. Now, a lot of times, in fact, standing in this creek bottom, I shot my first nine point buck with a 44 Magnum at 29 yards. In fact, I was standing right here looking right, let's see. Yeah, right that direction when I shot it. I've actually, that big old 500 pound wild hog I shot right down in here too. Shot a bunch of deer right here in this area. So hopefully it'll work out for us. Here's a scrape. It's not real fresh. Did have one track in it that was fairly fresh. My brother shot a buck up here not too long ago. So hopefully I'll get something up in here. Here's a much fresher scrape or paw mark. Different. Actually, this is a scrape. That right there was where a buck was running. There's the buck track. Look at all this moss stuff here lichen here's a fresh scrape on the ground or paw marks different people call it different things we call it scrape there's the track of a pretty good sized buck so we're looking for these paw marks or scrapes and the fresher the better they always make them right along in this area Earlier this year, I seen a pretty decent sized buck running down through here. We're going to have to find us a good spot to put up a tree stand. Oh, here's that moss stuff. See how soft it is? I 
I didn't want to talk because I'm actually trying to hunt when I'm out there. So I'm coming back in and adding some dialogue so you know what's going on. See all this moss everywhere? It's all right that if, if it's wet to walk on. If it's dry, it just crunches just like potato chips. See how soft it is? It's not really stuck to the ground. It's just kind of sitting on top of it. Shot several big bucks in this area right here, but not since they've cleared it on the other side of the fence. There is a nice paw marks or scrape right here on the ground. Definitely buck sign in this area. And there's the buck tracks right there. So, that right there is where he chews on the limb. This is a little bird nest I found while I was out there. We're going to head on back and put up a tree stand and get up in the tree where we can overlook some of these scrapes. It's a little bit different area. But it has good sign, so hopefully we'll get something. Mainly I'm just looking for some meat. Here's the nice little buck I shot with the 3855. I couldn't do any video footage because it was so dark by the time I got over where it was at 66 yards from where I was hunting from that tree stand. The bullet passed all the way through. Here's this buck I got with the 3855. Picture in the daytime. Gonna throw in some footage from the past. This is a Eight point I shot with a 348 Winchester. This is a 10 point I shot with a 348 Winchester. All right, here's my little Alabama buck. This is the second deer I was able to get this year. It's a pretty rack on it. It's not big for beans, but it's a nice looking rack. I think this is the second eight point I've gotten. You can tell he's been rubbing on some trees real recently. Look at that. That's fresh bark on there. Nice looking little rack. Let's see, the deer was facing me at a slight quartering angle. The bullet went in there and come out on the other side. Like I said, I was right up there. I'll measure it off, let you know how many yards that is. 